One day, my best friend and I were walking on the beach when two girls approached us. Hey, Peter Pan, do you want to hang out with us? No thanks, you can bring your friend too. We're gonna be at the snack bar. Who was that? A girl I kissed once. Oh, her friend's kinda cute. You wanted me to introduce her to you? Can you do that? For sure, let's go there now then. So we went to the snack bar, but there were two dudes chatting with the girls already. Yo, I would the boy trying to steal my girl. Who, me? Definitely not. She told me you kiss her. That was a long time ago. Look, she's my girl. Do you understand? Hey, back off. And who are you? Doesn't matter. You better leave my friend alone now. Uh, you're lucky there's people here. I'm not afraid of you. <laughs> Let's go. <sighs> Sorry. Let's just go. We could have kicked their butt. Yeah. <laughs> I guess it's getting late. I'll go home to try to sleep. The girl of my dreams must be waiting for me. You're really dating her, aren't you? Yep. How about our plan to share a dream? It's been what? Five months since we're trying? Yeah, I get the feeling that it's not gonna work. And I'm kinda busy with the girl. It's fine. I never had a girlfriend. It must be nice to have one, even if imaginary. Yeah, don't worry. I'll help you to get one. Later that night, I slept earlier than usual and ended up having a lucid dream in the morning. But no matter how much I called for the girl of my dreams, she didn't show up. Three weeks passed and I still couldn't find her anywhere. Maybe something had happened to her and I was starting to get desperate. So days later, when I had another lucid dream, I called her guardian to help me out. But he didn't come. I need help. Is my guardian around? Ah, uh, here you are. Why are you so desperate? The girl of my dreams, she disappeared. I have nothing to do with it. I'm asking for your help. Can you help me, please? I can help you, but there is a price. What price? A life for a life. I can bring her back to you, but you're gonna lose your friend. I don't wanna lose my best friend. And you wanna lose your girlfriend? Isn't she more important to you? What kind of deal is that? I'm not gonna bargain away my best friend. Why not? Because he's my best friend. And she's your girl. Why are you giving priority to your friend? Look, if that's the only help you can give, then don't help me. I already did. No, you didn't. Goodbye. I wish you light. <sighs> that wasn't my guardian. I am so dumb. Is my real guardian there? Hello, I need help. Is any guardian listening to me? <laughs> F it's time. Are you gonna help me find the girl of my dreams? I can be the girl of your dreams. <laughs> Very funny. I don't want your help. Listen, boy. I came all the way here to help you. So don't fuck with me. Okay. Follow me. Wait. Where are you taking me? To the stream of memories so we can search her in your past. Like searching memories in the book of life? This is how I see the books. I don't see any book. We can stream in the bubbles. This is better than reading. Watch this. Whoa, that's me in the past. So much that the planet adopted you as a god. OS and I were a spirit divided in two parts, a male and a female. But we were both male. And making deals to change people's sexes in exchange for some sort of druid. The druid stole my heart. You were supposed to be born a girl in this life, but for some reason at the last minute you decided to be male. I think she's mad because you're neglecting your feminine side. What are you trying to prove? I'm not a female. I don't have a feminine side. <laughs> <laughs> and even if I was a female, how can this help me find the girl of my dreams? Here's another bubble. You had a nasty dog that you abandoned. He bit my hand when we first met. He crossed the street to help him out. I was feeling as if I had butterflies in my stomach. You know OS? <laughs> of course I know him. We're dating. Wait, what? Since when? Since the day you saw mother. Mother? I had faith that OS writing the book with the dragon's feather would be a spell powerful enough to make me find you. So I wrote in my book of life a mission for OS to wake up, but this time I'm with the very to say that you're part Shh. of my life. I didn't know how to kiss someone. It can't be with me if you desire someone else. Oh, you made me lose my focus! It was easier when you two were one. Magic cannot control love. 
What magic can I control of? Try breaking two hearts and then combine the two pieces. My friend's kinda cute. You want me to introduce her to you? What makes you think he can handle it? Love finds a way. Here, take my bracelet. Bracelet, help me to enter his dream. What are you doing here? I'm trying Stop. to- Stop! Why are you showing me random memories from my past? They're not even in order. You must be blind if you can't see the connections yet. What connections? One time, I met a druid who told me that she would never have trouble finding her true love. And what does that have to do with me? I quit. Wait, I still don't know where to find my girl. Ah. <sighs> Here, I got you a lollipop. Thanks. Any luck finding the girl of your dreams? No, she just finished and I can't find her. Where did you first find her? It was at a dream school, but she was dating my other self before that. Oh wow, since when? Mm, in this life, she said since the day I saw mother. Mother? You mean like dream stuff? When was that? Weird. What? That was the same day I saved you from the dog. The day I met you for the first time. Funny coincidence. Yeah. Coincidence. So, when are you going to introduce me to that red-haired woman? No. You know what? I was just thinking, she's lesbian and really not a good fit for you. I think she's a bit crazy. But you said- You know what? Just don't even think about her. You wouldn't be happy with her, trust me. Huh. Later that night, the girl from my dreams was back. Tell me it's not true. But it is. So you are the other self of my best friend? Uh huh. And why did you hide that from me? Your love for him had to wake up before you knew he was part of me. The water guardian was not being your friend by revealing that to you. What's wrong with me knowing about it? If you know about it, how can anyone be sure you are with him because you love him and not just to keep me around? Well, I'm with you. I won't betray you. He's the real me. I'm his other self, as your other self is you. But I'm not gay. I never understand how people worry so much about the box. I'm serious. I'm not gay. Then let him go. Don't try to stop him from having a girlfriend. You can't be with me if he desires someone else, right? If I do that, I'm gonna lose you, right? Yes. Then I won't let him. You can't stop him from doing what he wants just for you to keep your girl around. It's not fair to him. I'm his guardian and I would not allow that. But I don't want to lose her. She was not even supposed to reveal herself to you. Was she supposed to be alone? This is not her lifetime. She was destined for your other self. If you had been born a girl as we had planned, I'm starting to guess you wouldn't even be dating her. Give him time. I know he can change. True love changes everything. True unconditional love, yes. His love seems to be very conditional. The court is pressuring me to give my pending vote for your case, and after today I've decided my vote is a no. No! You should hear from us again soon. I wish you peace and good. See, this is why I didn't want you to find out. Now he's gonna try to take me away. There must be something we can do. Maybe there's someone who can help us. Wait, don't go yet. I miss you. <sighs> I know, you love my boobs. Come here, manly boy. Give me a kiss. Gotcha! <laughs> For watching my video. In the next video, I talk about my third visit to the space court. So I recommend you rewatch my previous videos to better understand what's going on. And don't forget to like, upvote, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.